Good day, my YouTube friends. Welcome to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. Hundreds of you have subscribed in just the last few weeks after you saw Ranzo's channel, The Black Experience Japan. Today is December 1st, 2019. And to be honest, I haven't posted a video in two and a half years. But now I'm back. <laughs> and yeah, it's December 1st. And look at me. I'm sitting here with... <laughs> I'm not totally naked, but I have no t-shirt on. It is 8 degrees Celsius, 46 degrees Fahrenheit. And let me, let me turn this around. Uh, hopefully I can do this here. Um, uh, oh, dear. Uh, well, anyway, I, I can show you this way. Uh, my home here in Kamakura, Japan is... Can you see that? I'm out on my, uh, my upper terrace. Maybe you can see it from over here. It has this concave shape that brings all of the warmth right into my house. I've just turned off my um, uh, air conditioner heater. I keep the, um, what do you call that? The uh, um, kerosene heater going just to keep the inner, the inside temperature at an even keel. Uh, of course, I do have a, an air filter in there. But one thing is, that is so important, especially for people who have melanated skin, is vitamin D, especially in the winter time. So I've been laying out here on my couch, my outdoor furniture, and forgive me if this is a little herky-jerky. Um, but yeah, this is this is what it looks like um, today. Um, yeah, as you can see over here. I'll get back to the vitamin D thing in a minute. Under that blue tarp is a gasoline generator, just in case the power goes out. And this garden is about 11 years old. Actually, it's 12 years old, but the wooden tiles you see are about 11 years old, and they need to be replaced, so I'll do that in the next year. This will all be totally cleaned up, and uh, I do have a lower terrace down here. And my next-door neighbor said, this, oh, it looks like a jungle, Robert. <laughs> and this is a Japanese stone lantern. And I just let the ivy crawl up there. It's, it's, it's kind of nice looking. But yeah, this is what I see every morning. And uh, yeah, it's, it's 46 degrees. And I'm out here, to be honest, in my underwear <laughs> and socks <laughs> with my little dog Spunky here. And uh, yeah, vitamin D is so important, especially for us melanated folks. Um, I, I do take vitamin D supplements. And, um, and yeah, it's it's weird how warm it gets out here in uh, in the winter time. Uh, yeah, I think you can see here now how convex, uh, I'm sorry, concave my house is. So it gathers all of this heat, and I can actually sit out here, um, not totally disrobed, but somewhat disrobed, and absorb the vitamin D from the sun. Again, taking vitamin D supplements is very important as well. So I just wanted to share this uh, short video here uh, and give you newcomers a chance to see uh, what my place looks like in the wintertime. Um, so I'll, I'll try to be not so herky-jerky as I do this here. Uh, over on this side of the house, it's a nature preserve, uh, which goes all the way down. And the hills that you see over there, that's also a nature preserve. Um, and, oh, you can see the, the, the children, the school kids. They're on a school excursion, and I see this often. Uh, I hope you can see them there. Yeah, um, yeah, it's kind of cute. So, yeah, this is what my place looks like in the wintertime. Of course, I have this outdoor furniture and, and everything. And, uh, yeah, and inside. Uh, whoops, you can see me. Oh, no! <laughs> I'll be 60 years old next year. You don't want to see this old body. <laughs> so yeah this is my home and uh yeah i just wanted to share that with you i hope i didn't uh freak too many of you out with my uh nakedness um yeah so i'll um i'll be posting more um you know i realize that a lot of you are, are curious about japan what it's like to live here um 
On many mornings, the dog and I, Spunky and I, we go out for morning walks, so I'll try to record that. But I don't want to infringe on my neighbor's uh, uh, privacy, so I'm, I'm kind of wondering, should I record them? Of course, I'll ask if they can be recorded, but it's so beautiful here that, uh, yeah, I think you'll... All throughout those hills over there are um, um, hiking trails, and it is so beautiful any time of the year always something is in bloom and it's just so beautiful so beautiful and you know i i've been watching a lot of ramza's videos recently and i've seen uh especially uh dr ochoro whose son was bullied and i'm actually i just paused a video uh, a young man who is a researcher uh and he's talking about his trials and tribulations here and you know it's fantastic to see but you know remember that each of us, we all have uh, different experiences here. Uh, one person's uh, nightmare is another person's, you know, wonderful dream um, at the same time. So, yeah, be careful in how you um, assess uh, or interpret what you see on these videos because, uh, you know, we all have our own experiences. We all come with, with different things. And, uh, yeah, where am I at? Six and a half minutes here? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I promise to, um, um, and I thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Um, I'll be fully dressed next time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that uh, it's it's strange that it's 8 degrees Celsius, 46 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm out here sunbathing. And for us melanated folks, we need vitamin D. We need sun. And if you have a, a warm room in your home, um, disrobe, lay down in that sun, get your vitamin D, which will protect you from all sorts of cancers, especially colon cancers and, and other sorts of cancers that we black people tend to get. Um, and anybody, you know, um, um, you know, Caucasians need it, Asians need it, um, South Asians need it. You know, if you've got melanin in your skin, you know, if you're redheaded with freckles, you've got melanin in your skin. Uh, we all need to have adequate amounts of vitamin D. So that, that's the only reason for my, my topless um, <laughs> episode here. Um, yeah, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to give you uh, another view of, of my, my upper garden. Um, I think you can see here, my dog is going crazy. <laughs> that's spunky. <laughs> um, uh, and these are natural flowers. They've been here ever since I've been here. And they're, they're quite beautiful. Yeah, so I, I will trim them back and the next year they'll grow again. And I bought this furniture on Amazon. I hope you can see it. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite nice here. Yeah. Um, I've got blueberries over here. And strawberries here. Over here I have sage and uh, more um, um, uh, uh, strawberries. And uh, yeah, all this will be cleaned up soon. Uh, actually, you can see some, some strawberries flowering over here. And actually, here is a, a strawberry. I think you can see that. I hope you can see that. Yeah, so that will be ripened soon enough. And like I say, I'll clean up all that stuff down there. Um, I just find that the... Um, the UV rays in the summer are so intense that I don't come out into the garden much. In the springtime, it's okay, but in the summer, I, I, I avoid the garden because I think the UV rays are just too intense, so I don't, I don't come out much. So, um, oh, I don't know if you can notice, but over there, can you see the uh, orange and red? That's a marigold that I planted, uh, and somehow it got out of the garden, and it's still growing. I don't know what happened there. But over there, you see that blue uh, container there? I always keep a, a, that full of water, uh, just in case there's some sort of disaster, fire or something. I've always got water. And again, under here, uh, this blue tarp, I say it's, it's a gasoline uh, generator that I bought, I think it was last, uh, early this year, or maybe last year, I forget. And we had a power outage um, after a typhoon that lasted for like two and a half days, and they came in handy really well, really well. Um, it's a bit noisy, but uh, over on this side of the house, it's okay. As, as you can see, I, I live on the, um, uh, the the side of a hill, so most of my house is down downstairs, and um, 
of course, uh, there's the, uh, what is that? That's the dog's room. The center one is my home office right there. And that's my bedroom over there. And of course, this is all my living room over here. I'll try to stay out of the reflection here. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm facing east. I get so much uh, warmth in the winter time that it really saves on on um, uh, heating build. So yeah, so I, I just thought I'd share that with all of you newcomers. Thank you so much. I went from like 47 subscribers to well over 200 <laughs> in the last few weeks. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. Talk to you next time. Be well.